Hi everyone, I'm Laura. Welcome back to the channel. So I have been getting many downloads the last two days or so. Maybe it's been five days. <laughs> I don't know. I'd lose track of time on what's happening with the AI agenda. I've also been getting heavy downloads about the Twin Flame Unions and more information about just many different things. So we'll just dive into this because it feels like uh, sometimes I can't keep track of all the downloads that I receive throughout the day, which is why I tweet them. So I'm on Twitter and I also feel like it's, I want to mention this before I get into the cards because I have to switch between my uh, left brain, right brain. <laughs> and I am doing an ascension course with my friend, my divine feminine healer. She is Megan and I share her videos. I duet a lot of her twin flame TikToks. And she is someone that I actually learn quite a bit from in this community, which pretty much is just me and my guides. And I do learn a lot from Megan as well. So we are combining. We've both been on this twin flame journey now a couple years, two years, and uh, have very similar divine masculines, have had very similar experiences with our counterparts. And both of us are doing this spiritual work. So I want to say this is another aspect of the twin flame journey that you will find you are catapulted into spiritual service and you have the impetus to become more spiritual publicly, have a YouTube channel, have a ability to do card readings. It could be any number of things. It could be a life coaching. I just saw 144. Um, something about motivational speaking is going to become bigger. We're going to start to do in-person workshops at some point. Uh, we're going to start to do relationship workshops, talking about fifth dimension paradigm of relationships. And I see this happening with the masculines coming on board. I see all of this happening as the masculines start to join us on these YouTube channels. And you're going to start to see the twin flames coming into union. I've seen it. It's just what is going to be that divine feminine typically the one that identifies as divine feminine, stepping into this purpose first to lay the groundwork for the masculine to then join and because we are fundamentally switched in the age of Aquarius. Feminines are leading. Uh, although I'm actually noticing in personal readings, I've had some divine masculines coming in who are younger, um, but not young. I would say in their 20s, 30s. And they are actually more awakened than the female counterpart or feminine counterpart. So it's switching and it's very interesting to see. So what may have been true for our specific wave where the feminines are awoken first, um, it may be that the masculines are not going to wake up first. Who knows? But we'll just see as we go. The point is that one twin typically lays the groundwork for the other twin to join them. And it's very easy once the other twin has gone through more karma and clearing in the 3D. So usually it's the divine masculine that's been clearing the way in the 3D, on the earth realm, in the physical realm, in the material, so that the feminine can be fully in 5D. That's what happened for me, and that's what happens for a lot of feminines. A separation is an illusion. So the masculine, what they're doing is they are working very steadily, possibly unconsciously, but they are working steadily to clear karma for your union in the third dimension in the physical realm. Even though we're all ascending to 5D, the 3D has to be fully cleared before we can all both rise together. So that's what the masculines typically up to this point have been doing. And the feminines have been able to connect directly to source, get right onto their mission. I was activated by my twin right before this pandemic started in March of 2020 and got this YouTube channel started in April. So I was very fast and not everyone is that fast, but it was something where it was undeniable and it got stronger as I went. I walked in faith. There's a, a video I just posted to the community tab and I am going to get into the cards. I realize I've been talking more than I normally do. Uh, so I hope this has been helpful for someone, but um, Sweetly Savage, Kristen, I've been watching her for a while. She is connected very strongly with Jesus and she is a no nonsense about the dedication to spiritual service. I just saw Mary Magdalene here on the bottom of the deck. So we are 
comforted by the fact that we know we are walking with the Ascended Masters. You are going to be triggering the Matrix. You're going to be triggering other humans, just the same as the Ascended Masters did when they spread the word. So we are going to be speaking our truth. We're going to be spreading the word. And let's see who's guiding you at this time who are watching. Transcendence, Lord Shiva. So Lord Shiva is transcendence. We are transcending one paradigm into the next. Rise up, honor your inner force, and dance with the universe. He came through recently for feminines. So he's coming through again for both, both of us, uh, masculines and feminines. I feel like this is saying, I'm reminded of the Martin Luther King Jr. quote that says, take the first step in faith. You may not see the whole staircase, just take the first step. I just saw 555. This is about change. So again, change seems to be a very big theme lately for February, especially for February. So where you began February and where you end February, I feel are gonna be radically different energetically. Okay, tell me who's with the masculines. Joan of Arc, speak your truth. I've been getting this download for Divine Masculines that they are chomping at the bit like a horse, ready to go, ready to speak, ready to... I'm hearing shock people. I'm hearing rock uh, their worlds, rock their communities, because it feels like the Masculines have reached a point where they, they're they done holding back, they're done playing mum, they're done playing dumb, they're done. They're done. <laughs> so Joan of Arc typically comes through for feminines. When Joan of Arc has come through for masculines, uh, it's, it's saying, hold on, because when masculines start to really speak up and find their voice of truth, it's game over. So stand strong, focus on your purpose. I'm also getting that masculines are very aware of their purpose at this time. They're very they're they're hearing the voice of God. They're hearing the voice that the feminines have heard from the beginning, and flip that around for you if it's the opposite way around. So just um, you can do that. And Joan of Arc is saying you have something to say, and you know that you do. And masculines feel compelled. It's uh, the power of Christ compels you. Anyway, and that could be, I feel like that's from the exorcist because this is actually about the demonic entities that have been around the masculines. So it's this feeling of no more of this. Uh, they are done. And actually what I'm getting from masculines is someone who has been, uh, who has been a narcissist to you or who has been manipulative to, to you, a femme fatale perhaps, a femme fatale archetype is now coming to the masculine and the roles are reversed. <laughs> so it feels like the masculine has stepped into their power here and they actually are running the show now. It may be that the tables have turned for masculines. Um, so this is about the masculine collective taking the power back in their life from everyone. Okay, and with the feminines, we have divine alchemy, holy amethyst which is normally what we get for the masculines. So it's funny, you're very much mirroring each other. And uh, it says, focus on what you desire, become the alchemist, like the magician. And I actually, I'm getting some kind of deja vu because I feel these cards in particular, it's, I feel I've already done this reading, but it might've been for a different uh, collective. So it's very, it's very weird feeling. But the feminines, Okay, the reason I'm getting this feeling that they're saying is because you've done this before. The feminines are recognizing that you have divine gifts that are coming online and it's time to rise beyond what you were doing in the 3D and start to do your fifth dimension mission. So it's that feeling that you can change the circumstances for you. You can bend them. And I'm, I'm getting, let's get a tarot card for feminines. I'm going to stick with the feminines right now. So it feels like the feminines, what's going on is you realize the power of manifestation. You're realizing your goddess power to manifest whatever it is that you are desiring. And it's going to come to you very easily. It's going to come to you flowing in. 
because it's just a simple mindset change. I feel what I'm hearing is you've reprogrammed your subconscious. So feminines, if you've been doing some meditation, if you've been catching yourself when you've had negative thoughts or thoughts of um, lack or thoughts of disbelief, your guides are coming in and they're re re rewiring your subconscious patterns to start to actually see things for uh, what is really possible in the highest timeline. Tell me about this for feminines. Knight of Wands. It's the passion that you're feeling. I'm wearing orange today because it's your sacral chakra that is lit up feminines because I'm feeling you're connected to masculines who are also getting ignited in the sacral chakra. This is also those spirit babies coming in and inspiring you to be creative and inspiring you to break out of old conditioning and patterns of limiting thoughts. So you're going to start to have uh, <laughs> the world is your oyster. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. And for, we also have, interesting, Seven of Swords. That is a very different energy that just came in. So let's see what that's about. What is the Seven of Swords about? This is deception energy, typically. Four of Wands. Some of you are feeling like this journey on the Twin Flame journey has duped you, has been deceptive in some way. I'm getting a lot of you don't feel that your masculines are, uh, you, you don't, okay. I'm getting that you think the masculine is not coming in for a union, or if they do come in, they won't be ready. That's what I'm that's what I'm getting. And it feels like this is about you believing that your masculine has changed completely away from this old energy. That's no longer who they are. If you haven't spoken to them in a while, it feels like you may still believe that your masculine is who they were when you left them at the beginning of this journey. And they're actually saying, if you have done all this change and work on yourself, feminine, and you've done a 180 in your life, know that the masculine has as well and expect to see a different version of them because that is who's coming in. They're not coming in like this. So that seems to be an old loop that needs to, needs to go because they're actually, this union is much closer than you think it is. Uh, I, uh, yeah, it's just the download that I've been getting. So. Uh, I don't like to promise unions because I don't feel that that's very constructive in general because what we're really meant to be doing is being on our spiritual path. However, if you are activated as a twin flame, I say this often, you can reach a level of success and abundance on your own. That's very true and possible. The level that's wanting to catapult you as a twin flame on this journey in this age of Aquarius to where you can go, uh, the farthest, the highest, the most ascended is going to be in partnership and union with your twin. And that's just it. Although, um, so the thing is, I just speak in absolutes because that's the way that we manifest this reality. Uh, if that is not what you want, if that's not what you desire, if for whatever reason you have something you can't get over with your twin, if they were very deceptive and abusive and toxic to you. First of all, it's probably not your real twin, <laughs> but it's also just something that feels like for you, feminine, you will still get a union that's going to bring in that catapulted level of abundance. It just might be with a soulmate. It might be with someone else that's not the twin. That's a message for some of you. Tell me more about this though. Let's stick with this message. So I'm also feeling feminines have a lot of sexual energy and passion at this time that you want to be using. And it feels like some of you are sitting around thinking, well, this is such a waste. I'm celibate or I'm abstinent or something. And uh, you're feeling a bit like, why should I keep waiting uh, or something like that? Okay, I get the world in reverse. So it feels like if you thought, and the two of cups there. So the, the world in reverse is saying, if you thought that your twin flame union was over, we have ace of pentacles behind that. It's certainly not over feminine. Your union was on pause while I just saw one, four, four, four. Uh, your union was on pause 
before you could, um, this behavior had to be reversed. So for both of you, and I'm actually getting for some feminines, if you are uh, not speaking up about the twin flame journey, some of you, I'm getting the hermit as well. So if some of you have been in hermit mode, you're about to be blasted out of it. We also have the tower here. So it's feeling like, and all of this was coming from the bottom of the deck. So it's all coming from the subconscious that your subconscious is basically saying you cannot hide. You have to come out. You have to be public. You have to be um, fully embodying and speaking about some version of this journey, how it affects you, how your gifts have come online. Ace of Pentacles I'm getting is also a feeling that is very real, that is very needed. And if there's some agenda that has made you feel like if you speak out about Twin Flames, you're not going to be believed. Your voice, your mission is too out there, is too crazy. It's not going to be uh, what the world is ready for. You're, I'm hearing the world is not ready for what I have to say. That's all old subconscious programming. It's not true. So these are all the messages for feminines. It's very, it's very... Uh, Heavy on the feminines because it feels like there's a lot here for both. I'm going to pull for masculines now. So let's see what comes through. Um, let's use this tarot deck for masculines with their speaking. I would actually have thought like a, a lot of these messages would have come through for the masculine. So it's interesting that feminines are getting very similar energy to this Joan of Arc over here. So... Speaking truth, I can't say it enough. And you are going to trigger the matrix. You are going to be misunderstood. People aren't ready for what you have to say. And that's that's exactly why you have to say it. Okay. Tell me about Joan of Arc over here for the masculines, please. Queen of Wands, temperance. <laughs> okay. So the masculines, it feels like you're starting to find your own connection to source energy. And this is a feeling that this is the divine feminine over here that's very connected to source. Temperance is the angels. Temperance are your angel guides, your galactic team, anyone that lives in the higher dimensions, any beings of higher dimensional light that have been guiding you. You've had to be very patient. A lot of you I'm getting have been inspired massively by the feminines and your counterpart, and you're now ready to match them here. It's, you've been very patient. There's also, I'm hearing, let them rise. There was a feeling that you couldn't hold back because you were instructed to let your feminine rise on their own, so you held back. You're actually doing them a service in this way. The feminines may not know that. Okay, the hanged man. Yeah, the universe put a hold on the masculines being able to speak their truth here. And this is for you who watch these videos. Not everyone is in this kind of collective, but I get that a lot of you are first, second wave twin flames. So this is why I get these messages. Anyway, so the, the universe has kept your masculines in a hanged man where they could not speak for some reason because... There wasn't time for them yet. It was time for feminines to rise. It's time for feminines to get real, really clear about the fact that you're on this twin flame journey and there's no getting off of it and that this is your mission now and to be rid of any self-deception at all around that. And so masculines, let's see, what else? So they've been, I'm getting a lot of downloads have been coming through for the masculines while they've been in, I'm getting time out from the universe. So masculines have to integrate these downloads. It takes them a lot of time, it feels, sometimes, to sort through what it is that you're getting, to know the meaning behind it, to switch from King of Pentacles energy into Queen of Wands. So it's feeling like you built your whole life, some masculines for decades, on this idea of what you desire in your life, your physical, um, financial security, what it is that you built in the 3D and you realize in order to actually build what I want in the 3D, I need this mystical, magical energy 
goddess energy that's coming from my divine feminine because that's now you're realizing it's not something you can do on your own here there's two there's is this what is this a wolf it's a wolf and a stag so you may see wolves you may see stags whenever you see stags or antlers or any kind of feeling like this it's a sign of union it's a sign of inner union also you're very balanced your inner masculine your inner feminine four of cups in reverse okay so masculines have been hearing the download and they're about to act on them if this had come out upright i would say masculines are blocking the connection to spirit and source when this comes through in the reverse it means you're no longer blocking it masculine. You're hearing it loud and clear. It's probably, you're pro I'm, I'm getting a lot of you are actually bombarded by spirit at this point to the point where you, it's like how the feminines were. Like when I mentioned that I started my YouTube channel a month after being activated by my twin, that's the feeling I'm getting for divine masculine. They didn't have that right away, these collective. Um, you were in hanged man energy for a while. It's like a sleeping spell. They activated the masculine. This is what happened. This is what happens for many twin flames. So I'm going to mention it because it's coming through. They activate the masculine to reach out to the feminine, to contact the feminine. Uh, they, at some point on the journey, know and they connect with you, feminine. You become activated and... It's like once the activation happens, that could be in the physical, it could be in the 5D. However you initially get contacted and activated by your twin, you will know this. The feminine then gets right onto their divine mission. They start to have the signs and synchronicities. They start to put the pieces together. The, the masculines, boom, go back to sleep. Like they're under a sleeping spell. It's almost a sleeping curse because you can notice that sometimes the masculines go right back into 3D types of ego and you don't even recognize them because they're like a different person. They're not a different person. You just saw them as their higher self when you initially got together and then hanged man, they were put back to sleep. But I have news, the wheel of fortune, the time is now, you're no longer asleep. And some masculines may even be feeling like in a daze, like what happened to me for the last however many years you've possibly been in separation or something because it's all starting to, it's like someone, they're just showing me someone waking up like a fairy tale from a sleeping curse, like sleeping beauty getting awoken. <laughs> I think I've said that a couple times, awoken. I don't even know if that's the right way to say it. But we're all waking up. So let's leave you with a union card. I feel like this message has been very clear today. The, uh, the fire it feels on both sides is ignited here. Many of the messages that I um, feel were for feminines are also for masculines. Balance stability and standing firm. Both of you feel like you're very balanced in your inner masculine and your inner feminine energies. I'm going to ask how the masculines are feeling about the feminines. I'm also getting that the earth, the earth energy is balanced and ready for these unions. It was not balanced before. The energy, the crystal grid was not high enough before and now it's more balanced because of all the the light codes that we've been getting okay so masculines feel life force this is sacred breath and sound and friendship this communication they want this solid friendship here with the feminine and they want they see you as no they don't only just see you as a sexual um, goddess as a divine counterpart as a sacred feminine they see you as a best friend and they see you as someone who shares the same values as them so they want to communicate this to you in some way it may be telepathic it may be actual communication i'm seeing this syrian energy here which is the dolphins the whales they communicate through sound 
So you may be getting communication through songs, through signs, through telepathy, through dreams. You may also get actual communication here because we have Joan of Arc and we have this other card about speaking. A lot of throat chakra. Okay, and tell me how the feminines are feeling about the masculines. I'm hearing just to forgive them if you are still feeling that they're in their old self. They're not. They've changed. They've ascended. Okay. How are feminines feeling about the masculines? Okay, actually they want me to switch to this deck. Okay, and then I think I'll wrap this up because this is a little longer than I have been making videos, but mm, the messages have been coming in fast and furious. So February is not, it's no joke. <laughs> okay, the feminines are, uh, they have nothing but pure unconditional love for the masculines here. Woman holding a heart. So that is, that is something that resonates in your energy field, feminine. When you start to speak up and start to spread your word and start to do your work, um, whatever your divine calling, it is just you are emanating love because of the frequency of this connection. You start to emanate as unconditional love. That is what's activated. That is what twin flames are. We are beings of unconditional love. It's a feeling that is a 44 card too. And the balance is 40. So I feel like that is what happens when you're activated on this journey. You're activated and you break out of the matrix when you live in unconditional love. So if you watch the recent matrix, Neo and Trinity, a spoiler if you have not seen it yet, when they are flying around at the end, They've broken free of the matrix and they are making and creating their new world. And that is what the twin flames will be doing here. We're making our own new world. Okay. I am sending you all much peace and light for your journey. I'm also still booking for personal readings. I did actually get somewhat booked up faster this month, but I am still booking for the last two weeks of February. So those links are always below. And, uh, I hope that, I just hope that this is helpful for you all. These journeys are very tough. Uh, they're extremely hard. You can go through a spiritual awakening. Um, you can go through a twin flame awakening. They are not the same thing. Twin flame awakening, in my experience, is painful, it's difficult, and it's, it's not for the weak, okay? So, all right, I'm sending you much of the peace and light, everyone. Take care. Bye.